I'm so old, I'm missing some teeth. I'm so old, I don't remember making this beat. Against all the teachers in the room, the winner is detention. I don't want to beat this into the ground because they, I was really appreciative of the award. But the category was Techno Hip Hop New Age, which is like, you know, best rice, you know, pizza and uh, Indian food. So I went hoping to win so that I could say, can, you know, can we have our own category? Hip Hop New Age Techno is not a category. I just want to point that out. I appreciate the award more than you know. I'm not being bitter. I don't make music to win trophies, you know. Um, I make music to meet chicks. <laughs> I'm so old that my first release came out on vinyl, no MP3s. I'm so old my grandparents are dead. My kids are in school, still got a water bed. I'm I so like the challenge of uh, creating something out of very limited means. So even though I'm using a computer, I'm using a program that's not meant to make cartoons, you know, and it took me an entire summer to draw all those pictures you know, because you, you got to draw, you know, it's almost like claymation the way I'm I did so it. I'm so old, can't listen to jamming 94.5. I'm so old that the records I think are cool are looked at with laughter, kids, this the old school. 1017 W of an civil twilight fire escape. If you have their album, Holy Weather. So I've been here uh, 10 years, almost. I've done every shift. I've done every job. My thing is playing records, giving information, making jokes, having a good time. I was doing the morning show. And there was a blizzard, so I left Lowell at like 3 in the morning instead of like 4 and 5 in the morning. So I made sure I got here on time. And I was in an accident on 95, and my car twirled around, and I was... F the truck actually swerved at the very last second. He, he almost tore my mirror off. I, I thought I was going to die. Everything went slow motion. Everything changed. It was weird. And I pooped my pants. And I didn't have a change of clothes, so I washed my clothes in the sink in the bathroom and hung them up to dry. And I stood in this very spot, <laughs> butt-ass naked, <laughs> for four hours. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come through the back door. 16. Awesome. 15. Always with the forgetting. 10. At the Smokehouse, you get like 20 teams. Part of why people come to see trivia, and you have to be careful not to make a gimmick of this, but it's because they're waiting for me to get mad and yell at somebody. You know, or humiliate somebody, or make fun of somebody. Looking for the character, not the actor. The character, not the actor. Put the actor down, I'm going to get pissed off. This is the secret. No one is going to see this coming at all. As I got all the big singers from, sort of from Boston and Lowell, and I made music that is not hip-hop at all. It's like alternative rock. On the blanket trembling, I always can come to them. People all the time just think in their minds that I'd sit at home and just listen to rap records all day, you know? But I was a huge New Wave fan, you know? I've been working at Alternative Rock Radio Station for 10 years. That's the 80s baby in me right there. I wanted to do something different, and I wanted to do something that people didn't see coming, and that people did not would not have predicted. Tell me, tell me now. As a producer, I'm all about collaborating. It's not about me, it's about us, you know? And what we can work on together, so. There's 80s feel to it, but it's not just an 80s record, you know, it's an alternative rock record or a, or a new wave, I don't know what to call it. It's not a hip-hop record, I know that much. I'm so old, I still pop and lock, and the kids look at me like, what? 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 I might be Puerto Rican, but I don't speak Spanish. My parents didn't teach me, only speak one language. My grandmother hates that I have to speak Spanish. So my father, he wanted me to fit in and be American. And that was good and bad, because now I'm a Puerto Rican guy who doesn't speak Spanish. And growing up, going to Lowell High School, try dating a Spanish girl, but you don't speak Spanish. They have no respect for you. You know, they feel like you've turned your, their, your, your back on your own culture. You know, so as a result, I've always dated uh, white chicks. I might be Puerto Rican, but I don't speak Spanish. My parents didn't teach me, only speak one language. My grandmother hates that I have to speak Spanglish, but it's the only way that I can manage. Arriba. Me personally, I'm a pretty mellow dude, you know. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I think that self-deprecation has always been one of my things, but also taking risks. I thought the rap part of my days, you know, of my life was, was pretty much coming to a close, if not already over. I hadn't written a song in a year, I hadn't played a, a show in a year. And so the subject matter on Rapping to the Radio is about me being an older rapper. I tried to retire, I tried to put the mic down, but the guys who picked it up turned out to be clowns. 
so I'm back. Here's the thing record labels all do. Sign a teenager, drop him when he's 22. But I got longevity that definitely proved. Yeah, I'm old, but I'm doper than you. 